Welcome back everyone to another edition of Let's Play Endless Space. I think this is our sixth video. Uh, in the last video we were in the midst of invading the Green Pilgrims, that faction, which was pissing us off early in the game and we decided to go after them first. Uh, we went through a lot of battles and we were very, very successful. Uh, we only lost a couple ships and that was because of a retreat. And so yeah, I think we're going to keep going. So I'll end the turn. We're going to keep going, uh, trying to invade and uh, take over this this um, this faction. And it looks like we're they're sending over a bit of a fleet to Takim uh, from their main, uh, their home system. And it looks, the military power is uh, 677, but we have our uh, main attack fleet over here, which is 917. And there's actually, we could, um, I was moving things around in the last video. I want to make sure. We did lose, this one isn't full up. Um, but I think we lost one because it was in cancer, the cancer system. And then we lost it that way. But we'll keep an eye on that. And we actually finished, uh, finished uh, assimilating or uh, I guess invading uh, the Vita system, or uh, I'm sorry, the Ida system, or Ita, something like that. Um, so we gained control over it, which is very nice. It's very, it's a little bit developed, not completely. Um, it has has some problems, um, pretty bad approval. very bad approval in fact and they're probably resisting us because we aren't their main we weren't colonized by them originally um, so we'll have to work on that in fact let's see we have some proto orchids which are good for the approval here and virtual artifacts would be good to get uh, we might look into that research track and let's see so what do we want to do first I think and it is Okay. Okay. So when I guess when you invade uh, a system, it turns into an outpost, and we right now it's four percent owner. So um, it's currently we're currently assimilating it. Now I don't know if when we assimilate it, it becomes an outpost, and then we have to wait for it to become a real uh, colony, or if we it becomes a colony at the end of that assimilation. But we'll keep track of that, and that's why our approval is so low here. And the first thing I, th I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure this lava planet has an uh, exploitation for the geo-industrial plants, which is very good. That's, I think, the second tier um, industry exploitation for planets. So we'll go ahead and do that. So that's good. Um, we'll deal with this guy in the next turn. We'll probably manually take over that battle. And let's actually resolve our movement. That's right. We were moving our scout over here to look for pirates it looks like they might have been dealt with we will go over to this white s uh, star white sun rather and take a look around we basically we really want to just get a good feel for the purples um, military power so far I haven't seen anything really impressive um, a lot of just kind of scouts and general kinetic military power Nothing too bad. In fact, let's take a look at the score. They are pretty close to us, um, so I'm, ho I'm I'm guessing there might be some kind of military force built up out of sight. Now, and the and the orange pilgrims appear to be, you know, they have a lot of systems taken over, but they might not have a lot of um, military. Okay, so we just finished a research on nano uh, non baryonic particles, so we get some more luxury resources and we also get a star system improvement for more uh, more a lot more um, research or science points so let's take a look at what we want to go for next um, we could really use something that that helps with um, the approval so I'm gonna k search around a little bit that's a nice card a battle card there Let's see if it might be in the diplomacy section. Ooh, and actually, plus two command point cap on Empire. I want to go for that first. That'll that'll allow us to build 
better fleets. You start out with a base of five, so you can only, and each ship has a certain amount of command points that they take up. Um, so that'll increase to seven. That'll allow us to have a little bit bigger fleets, which would be nice. So that's taken care of. These are the uh, luxury resources that we discovered because of our last research that just went through. Okay, so this is our moon survey that we were, we were doing on Treem 1. And there's nothing there. It's just an empty moon. And I'm wondering if we could do it again. No, we can't. Okay. Excellent. Well, not excellent, but, you know. Uh, and what I want to do, this, this is a pretty big job. Um, let me go ahead and actually do a moon survey. It is fairly short. We'll just take care of that. Um, and then we'll probably come back to this to do some more. Uh, plus 40 on star system. We do have a lot of dust. Maybe we want to start considering doing some buyouts. But then again, once we get into these wars, it might be more important to build up our military fast, which we will be able to do with a lot of dust. So we can dismiss that. We took care of Treem, and on Gaikon, we finished the stealth construction, which will give us more defense, which is good because it's, it's uh, on this kind of central node lots of uh lots of warp gates and wormholes lead to it and it's also a good uh, chokehold for uh, the war uh, the wormhole to our to our um our constellation where we started so let's see what we can build here do we have any moons no we don't have any moons and we could do this in five turns or we could do this in four turns let's go for more science it's going to take a while but that's okay Alright, that takes care of that. Let's make sure our planets look good. Yes, they do. Take a look at some fleets over here. Just some scouts. And the purple pilgrims have been scouting over here. This must be one of their original. Because it's only got 25 military power. This is a useless... I think I remember looking at this. It's fairly useless. Well, it's got metallic ground, so it's terrible for for food. Um, I ban you should fall in a couple turns. We're doing Miker. We should really get some eyes on cancer over here. Um, so let's actually take these guys to go over here and start our invasion. Now I think last time when I said oh it, the invasion isn't happening it actually was because it was decreasing the radius of influence and once it gets down that's what I was speculating I think once it gets down then it actually starts the invasion which is and so we'll take a look at that next turn if the radius decreases any so let's go ahead and end the turn and take a look at that and yes it did okay well actually this one seemed to increase that's strange Okay, but we are being attacked uh, by four Paladin 3s from the Green Pilgrims to our three missile and one repair ship. We're going to go into manual right here. Most likely we're going to be able to defeat them. Those Paladins are fairly um, fairly weak, especially against our ship setup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do... Uh, let's see. Looks like I got a new card. But I think I'm going to go for the tactics, uh, engineering, and uh, offense. Excellent. Our tactics countered their engineering. So this should be very, very good. Our missiles will hit them and do lots of damage. And they actually have an admiral on here, a commander and corporate level 5 admiral in fact alright so that took out that first missile barrage took out three of their four ships now we're going into the medium phase both of the cards played nothing cancelled out but this is good we get a little repair we should be able to take them out in this turn I believe our missiles are less effective because it isn't the long range phase but they're still going to connect and do a whole bunch of damage. And as you see, their ship explodes. Everyone on our ship celebrates the destruction. And we have victory at Takim. With absolutely no casualties.
I don't think we even lost any health at all. All right, and we have a level up of our commander that was on that fleet. Two levels up, apparently. I might have forgotten to level up in the first place. It's possible. Um, what I'm gonna do is I could go for some defense, or I could do a little bit of balance. Yeah, let's do a little balance. See what that opens up. Yeah, that might that'll open up some good stuff here. Let's see. Let's see. This is a hero ability. Hero ability. Hero ability. Okay. But, okay, this is a battle action, yes. This is a card that'll appear um, for minus 20% for all enemy defense mod. Mods, rather. Uh, this will give us more uh, movement. That's nice. Let's go with that. That sounds good. And this is the after action report. And let's resolve our movement for our scout. And we've got a little fleet built up over here. Let's go here looks like we'll make it and nope it'll take a couple turns there Ida is now 8% owner and no exploitation here we're doing that exploitation and we did see that the radius of influence went down on cancer it appeared to increase on mica so I'll have to keep an eye on that uh, I am invading yes I am okay well we'll just we'll keep an eye on that and we did our research so we now we have Let's see. Empire Improvement. So we have minus five turns before new hero arrival. Okay. So that decreases the respawn rate of, or recruitment rate for heroes. And we get uh, lots of bonuses for our heroes. That's good. And we also get plus two command points, which is very, very good. Let's go. I'm kind of looking for better plus two I think that's command points. I'm just reading through here. Okay. Plus ability to spy all fleets orbiting this system. <laughs> Xeno numerology. Plus one trade caps. Luxury base fids. Okay. I'm kind of looking for something that will improve our approval improve our approval rather Ooh, this one looks good yes botanical scanning infinite supermarkets <laughs> that's cool all right and we also so these two star system improvements that we can build on our systems which we, will be very good in the future so we'll go with that it'll just take one turn because we have massive amounts of of uh research or science rather you can see we're we're getting into the unhappy territory and i would scale this down but we lose a lot of dust and I don't think there's a lot you know there's it doesn't look like uh, the negative effects of that are going to really matter at this point okay so let's take a look at our systems everything looks good all right so let's end the turn all right let's resolve our movement and our scout finished moving so we can check out the military power of this we can't get a breakdown of exactly what the fleets are there are that are there but we can get a little breakdown of the military power and then they don't really seem all that uh, all that impressive so we are going to and this one has 0 out of 11 but I'll just queue that action up so I don't forget it and none of our systems finished any of their production on their queues it's funny, the purple pilgrims are just kind of looking at what we're doing over here. I hope they get the hint. Okay, so we have botanical scanning now, which is excellent. We'll, we will definitely be using that in the future very quickly. We took, whoops, I didn't mean to do that, but I just wanted to look at this. That's more food. Oh, I think the colors, see, yes, okay. So the colors kind of give you an overview of what the main thing is. So, for example, well, this is orange. Um, yes, orange, it looks like, improves your dust. Pink is for your approval. And this one actually gives you, yes, this is a very approval-based approval, uh, approval based star system improvement. This one is for dust again. This one is for dust. Let's see if we can find one that was good for, yes, see, okay, if 
you, there's a little bit the color is it completely I like how it's very cool like looking at all the icons and they kind of all give you a sense of what they do just from looking at the icon that's very cool I wish I had known this a little bit in the beginning but it's great that I'm learning it like when I was saying the the r tier of the weapon is how much it's shaded in well also you can see exactly what it what the um, the the uh, improvement or what the thing is based on this little icon so star is like diplomacy it looks like maybe uh, but this light color means it's definitely for fids green it looks like is no, I'm not entirely sure what green is uh, red is probably for military yes you can see square and I'm sure these icons you know you could say okay a square is a module a star is for command points or something like that um, in fact you can see or star might be you know it might mean something else but this lightish color is for dust and then if we look over here you can see this dark orange is for industry so what we're gonna look for is and yeah the, the icons go away if you zoom out too far but I just want to see if there's anything for approval over here no no how about down here this is mostly and blue is science probably I would assume Yes, minus 30% scientific victory research cost. So there's a scientific victory we could go for, but we are definitely an aggressive nation. So we're going for military victory. Okay, so what we want is, we'll go over here, colonial rights and careful sweeping. So we'll go for planetary landscaping, which gives us better farms to planetary or we get an upgrade to the farm planetary or the food planetary exploitation and we get a star system improvement for better um oh plus three on explored moon okay that's cool so if a moon a planet has a moon and we build the star system uh if we build the star system improvement then all the planets with moons will get plus three food it is expensive though but that's all right and we're eventually going to go for this so that looks good I like uh, discovering all this stuff as you play. It's a lot more interesting than just kind of reading through the manual and hoping you eventually figure it out. Now this, yes, there's a very, very tiny slice of green left, so we should conquer. We should, uh, what's the term here? Uh, we are um, invading. We should finish the invasion of Ibani very soon. And we finish that. And we resolve our movement. Everything looks good. Let's end the turn. So we're going to resolve our move right away. And we discover Pro Prokyan. No military in the area, so we can't. And I really do think purple might. I don't, I don't know where they're getting all their points. But it really just doesn't look like they have a strong military. Unless they're all back here, which wouldn't make sense. Because you'd want your military up front where the action is. Um... And again, these purple pilgrims are asking us to just give them Hyperium so they can build some laser stuff. Okay. So we got antimatter exploitation. Okay. That might have to do with the moon? No, we got an empty moon. And we have antimatter exploitation. Ah, yes, because we conquered the Ibony system and we got a this strategic resource so now we have a a abundance of that resource so now we get minus 30 percent industry cost on modules using the antimatter i don't know if we have any modules in our ships like that uh, i don't think it really matters at this point but that's cool so now we can take this fleet and so do we have we have a dreadnought fast attack fast attack fast attack i want to get a repair ship on there as soon as possible yeah let's take this repair ship and move him over here and then I'll take these guys move them over here we should be able to move merge that fleet at least a little bit all right let's see let's take a look at what we did way trime and Ita so Ita finished uh, the exploitation on this lava planet we don't have any moons. Yes, we do have a moon. Let's do a moon. Mission requirements. 
colonize Baron. Oh wait, we don't have right. We're not. We didn't colonize it yet. Colonize Baron, but it says colonizable. Maybe because maybe we can't do it. Uh, yes, we probably can't colonize yet because the system technically isn't. Uh, we don't own this system yet because we're still assimilating it. But it looks like we can um, uh, we can do improvements on it, and I want to help out the food right away because we're at minus four food, and that's not good. That's that's causing some of that disapproval as well. And Ibani, we just got access to, and I'm guessing we can't. Oh, we can colonize it. I'm wondering why we can't colonize those other ones. Anyway, we will colonize this one. That'll take us, ooh, nine turns. Maybe we won't colonize that one. <laughs> yeah, we're only getting eight uh, industry per, per turn. Uh, we get some antimatter. Yes, it was three antimatter. That's, not, that's why we have that resource abundance now. So I want to, it does have the heavy isotope, but I'm also gonna get, let's see. Let's do this one for, oh, 25 turns, yeesh. Hmm, how much would it cost? <laughs> 525, that's a lot. Mm, what's this one? 25. What did I start over here? 11 turns. It's not bad. This might just take a while because it's not ours, so. Let's go with. Yeah, 25 turns. 25, 10. Yeah, let's go for some dust. Actually, let's just colonize. Yeah, this is only going to take 9 turns, which is the. Least amount of time for any of that stuff. Okay. And, okay, now we actually are. Uh, and are we over here? No. We are actually um, invading this system without the inf sphere of influence being all the way down. So maybe my theory on that was incorrect. But we'll take. I do know that the influence went down. So that might not have been an effect of the invasion, though. Okay, so Dream is done. Because we did the moon, it had an empty moon. Okay, so let's go for. Right now, its approval is down, or it's not. It's okay. Um, infinite supermarkets would take five turns. Star system, uh, magnetic. Uh, this doesn't. Yeah, this this system is kind of low on food because it's only got two planets. Um, so let's go for epigenic crop seeding for now. That looks good and way finished something or other. I can't exactly remember. And I closed that window. That's alright. And Wei is unhappy. Yes. Okay. So let's go for infinite supermarkets. We'll, we'll be done in five turns. That should make them happy. Or happier, at least. To plus 40, if I remember correctly. And alright. Next turn. Orange pilgrims expanded a lot right there. And mm, again, I forgot to check the sphere of influence, but but we'll see. I think my earlier theory before the sphere of influence theory was that um, that you had to conquer all the other systems before you took their uh, home system, and it might be actually that you can't even conquer their home system, but we'll see. So let's resolve that movement. And we're gonna merge. I think one of these has a repair. Nope, these are just all fast attack. And five out of seven and three out of seven. So we can't completely merge all of them. But what we're going to do is we're gonna merge two of them. And we'll send one down there. So let's send this one down there. That'll take Yep, that'll take a little bit longer. And Ibania and Ita look good. This looks good. And it looks like all our planets are okay. And uh, our scout is looking over here. Yeah, okay, an okay fleet. Not huge, though. What we're probably going to end up doing is merging our fleets a little bit more to consolidate. And then we'll take a look at their military power to, de to determine... Uh, what we want to do and you can see I'd really like to know um, exactly what those are made up of and our research is done and we're going right 
to optimize logistics. Actually, we might want to change, and there was that research that I saw that would allow you to scan or to see exactly what, uh, I can't remember. Da, 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 where is it, where is it? I think it was like something like that. You would be able to see all the ships or the stats of all the ships in an orbiting system. And of course, now I can't find it. And I'm sure if you're watching this video, you're like, it's right there, Phil. Why can't you see this? Stupid. Okay, here we go. Quantum communication. Um, so we have to do xeno, uh, xeno mineralogy first. And then we'll get to it. So yeah, let's go in that direction. It might be good for our strategy. So let's close that. Everything looks good. Let's end the turn. And not much is happening. Let's resolve our movement. Take a look up here. And we're just on the edge of that sensor range for that ship over there. Do we have... We have 10 out of 11, so we should be able to reach this right now. Excellent. Yes, okay, so what I'm seeing is the Purple Pilgrims are basically a ragtag band of semi-large military. Um, if they combined all of them together, it'd be fairly good, but they're leaving them exposed by not merging them. So when we actually go into a fight, it's not gonna be very fair because it's going to be like seven ships against two or one. So, okay, so let's get out of here. We'll go down here and we'll look at uh, the orange pilgrims. Now, let's take a look at merging some of this stuff. So let's merge these. And that one's merged. And we'll merge these as well. A repair ship with that should be able to repair those dreadnoughts, which is awesome. And I think we only have one, yes, Gaikon finished that science uh, improvement. I think, yes, it was this science improvement here. They are unhappy as well, so we're going to go for the infinite supermarkets. And that's it. So let's go next turn. All right, and okay, we might get attacked here wow why are they building just a scout Ugh, stupid AI I mean at this point it's desperate and it's just trying to do anything um, but I mean really build a scout <laughs> really so we'll uh, we'll crush him fairly easily uh, we'll just do that and go auto truth see truth seeker four all right so that was pretty easy Let's take a look, and this is going well. Again, we're not seeing any real invasion going on here. Once this one gets completed, then we might see something, but we'll see if my theory is correct. So we'll resolve the movement of our scout. He's heading over here, so then he can go over to the orange pilgrims and s uh, look at how they're doing. And they are, okay, the green are <laughs> the least score right now because obviously, um, we took them out, or we're, we're taking them out, and the orange guys are fairly far behind. But again, the purple pilgrims, I mean, yeah, they have a bunch here, but the strategy is terrible. And this is okay. I, I would really like to see what they have there, though. Um, okay, so our research is complete on Xeno Mineralogy, so we have an Empire improvement, so we get plus 100% luxury base FIDS bonus, so all our luxury luxuries that increase FIDS bonus go up by 100% so they double and we have a star system improvement for increasing trade route cap and the trade route distance bonus so that's cool and now we're doing quantum communication so we can uh, spy on all those fleets orbiting the system oh it is a star system improvement oh, crud it's not like a well, that's unfortunate. I thought it might let our ships spy a little bit better. Well, that sucks. That's okay, though. 
what do we want to do? Well, we haven't done aerid epigenics yet, so let's just do that. Get that out of the way. It takes care of that. And Yersh. Yersh. Where the hell's Yersh? Oh, Yersh. Yeah, Yersh. This guy over here. And there's a moon. I know there's a Star Wars quote that goes around, that goes along with that, but I'll leave you to make the joke. Let's see. Colonize in three turns. We have a lot of people, so let's go ahead and. Well, strange fossils. Hyperion 70, Hyperion 3. Let's go with this one first. We'll colonize this. Then we'll colonize this. And then we'll do some more stuff. Okay. Uh, looks like we're all set. End the turn. Oh. And all of a sudden, the pilgrims... Ah, they must have been... Okay, they must have been hiding in the hangar, building all these ships, and then they attack when they know they have the advantage. So I think what we'll do, they do have a fairly good advantage here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to do offensive retreat. Because we have better, we have better fleets that can take care of these guys. So we're going to take the high road and get the hell out of here. Oh, and they did counter it. So they get one uh, unopposed round of damage, which is not good. But apparently we do fire at them as well. I thought it was unopposed. I guess not. No, we took out two, three other ships. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> But I did think, yeah, that's interesting. So, and we didn't die from retreating, which is good. We did take out three other ships, which is awesome. All right. And that wasn't the fleet that just attacked. It was that fleet? No, I don't think so. It must have been that fleet. What are these guys? 500. 42 military power against that. No. Is that 5 out of 7? And 5 out of 7. We'll just leave them there for now and deal with it. Most likely they're going to come after our invasion and we'll be able to hold them off with our 1807 military power and 1291 military power. So let's resolve. I think that's our scout. Yes, it is. We finished Arid Epigenics. I think I'm just going to kind of knock out, yeah, some of these ones, one turn ones. Actually, let's go for Hexaferum. We might be able to get an abundance right away once we research that. All right, let's end the turn. I have a feeling we're going to get attacked by green. Oh, he's going. Oh, he's doing some stuff there. That's interesting. What the hell is he doing? Hmm. Oh, and I also forgot. You can actually, and I want to test this out, actually. In order to do the free movement thing, you have to control and right click. Control, right click. Control, left click. No. Control, right click. Shift. Shift, right click. Let's try. Okay, let's take this guy, and we're going to go shift. Control right click. I think that did it. Yeah. Yeah, we're going directly. That's cool. Um, that warped technology allows us to move directly. Now it's gonna take a while. Actually, let's go back here. Oh wow. No, we, we don't want that. Ah. All right. Can we clear move clear orders or something here? All right. What are we doing? No. Once we're on the path, it looks like we have to reach it. That's okay. That was just a. What is that one dreadnought? Just kind of scoping out things there all right we have extreme metallurgy now so we reveal hexaferum and we get this empire improvement so we get plus 10 percent tonnage on all our ships which is great and let's go for what do we want to go for 
Let's BMP. Let's see, we have more science, better, uh, better uh, long range sensors, advanced containers, uh, advanced containers. That's strange. Oh, that's pretty cool. It, it makes us it makes the cost of the ship go up but it increases our tonnage by plus 20 and our military power by, by 20 as well barrier let's just go with this i don't want to make a huge decision yet uh, that's taken care of so now hexverm has been identified poor poor so there's a couple poor places it looks like two here and we did take over Takim here, which is awesome. I'm wondering, also, this is seven out of seven. He has a military power of 693 and 165. Can we just go attack him? No, we can't. But he's on his way over here, so what we wanna do is we wanna take this guy and put him over here. Excellent. I'm gonna guard. So they're both guarding, they're both invading. I'm not sure if that'll make invasion go faster. I'm not sure if it's based on uh, how much military power you have. Excellent, and now we have a hexaferum exploitation. Uh, where was our other hexaferum? Where was it, where was it? Okay, we have two over here, one here. Yes, yeah, so we have one, two, three, and two here. I don't, actually they might be more than, yeah, one, one. We have one here, and two and two so we have four plus uh what is it four plus three so seven so that clearly gives us a abundance and that gives us a minus 30 percent and we also get that this is a great resource because it gives us plus two per uh two to industry per person on the planet which is awesome this might make us go uh colonize xanados it's looking very uh very like a very good option okay so let's see here how much would it cost to do a colony ship for five turns i think we stripped out our colony ship almost completely so it's very very cheap have we done the moon thing yet no let's do the moon survey okay so let's resolve our movement of our scout yes okay so he has three left we'll go over here here ah we are at peace but we do not have open borders so i want to try to get open borders with this guy and open borders offer rejected i'll take it with the us flat fee See, it starts to go up, but then we're pretty much trading them all of our money. We might throw them a bone and give them give them some research. What could they use? Unstable torpedoes react. Oh, we don't want to give them torpedoes. Let's see. Let's give them that. Offer that. There we go. Okay, so now we can move into their territory. Let's check out, okay, it looks like there's a bunch of scouts, and what about here? Wow, zero, I didn't know you could have zero military power, that's impressive. Whoa, okay, that is an impressive fleet there. We could probably defeat it, but it's still impressive. Alright, so that deal went through, give him a little uh, incentive, and we completed that, and we Gaikon also completed, and our approval is much better in those systems as well. These two, or Takim and Ibani and Ida, are all the conquered systems, the invaded systems. So those are obviously going to be lower approval. And let's see, what do we want to do now? We have a satellite. We could, uh, let's see, explore the moon. We don't have any moons anyway, so this wouldn't be a good star system improvement. Let's give it more trade routes. That's great for dust. And I think that does it for all our planets. Nope, Takim needs something. Whoops, we didn't do that. Colonizable. So we could colonize this planet, I assume. Yes, we can. Let's go ahead and do that. 
Kana is barren, and then Kana is barren. Let's give us a nice cue there. Okay, so this is all set. And it looks like we're all set. Let's get next turn. Right. So their fleet didn't move. Not yet, at least. But we're continuing our invasion. Looks like we got a, a game event. It appears that a band of planetary governors acting in what they claim to be the best interests of the galaxy have been enriching themselves and filling important posts with incompetent lackeys. Though security services uncovered the plot, codenamed Hardcore Game, the fallout is horrific. Colonial government crumble. Wow. Colonial governments crumble. Corporations turn out to be bankrupt shells and popular support plummets. Ouch. This is bad. Wow, that's really bad. That was terrible. All right, so our next research path, in fact, we finished this one so we can colonize desert, but we want to go right for happiness. So we want to go over here to optimize logistics. We'll get this one, the star system improvement, which will counter that game event quite nicely. And we'll also get this careful sweeping which is applies to explored moons. So we'll go for that, it'll take four turns. That's an interesting game event. I'm wondering if those are completely, uh, well obviously they probably are random, but um, I'm wondering how random they are. All right, so I'm gonna go explore this way. Don't think I'll make it. Nope, okay, 1192. Was that the one I saw before? Oh, there's some pirates over here. So he's dealing with pirates as well, so that's kind of nice. That might take out some of his uh, attack force. So Treem finished up. Uh, let's see. And we can do an empty moon. Okay, yeah, this was the two empty moons. And we are going to, yes, go for our infinite supermarkets to improve approval. Dismiss that. Looks like we're good. This guy didn't move. And I guess this just kind of shows you that there's two moving here. And it looks like they have a little fleet here. I'm gonna have to be careful. 825, yeah, let's go over here and take them out. We'll, we'll auto this, should be a pretty easy battle. Yep, very good, we didn't lose any ships. We lost a little health, but we took out their two ships. So it's great. And we'll just do a little blockade and an invasion there. And I will also move this guy over here to counter a retreat by these guys once they hit here. They're definitely going to retreat once they hit our huge forces here. So that'll force them to go here or here, and we'll have both of those ways covered. All right, everything looks good. Let's end the turn. So they landed, but they didn't attack. So I'm going to take the uh, the high road <laughs> and attack. And I'm just going to go auto because we are vastly outnumbering them. This should be fine. We might lose a ship or two because it is a, a large battle. No, we didn't at all. And they didn't hit us at all. <laughs> awesome. Completely wiped them out. That's great. And we have our commander, our fleet commander, got two uh, two levels up there, so that's awesome. Tinkerer, we have yes, this is really good. I like that. So for the healing, let's go with a fast fleet is a good fleet. So let's go with that, and also let's go with that. That's opening up some really cool stuff. Resolve our movement. That should put in oh, close, but not there yet. So this is their big fleet there. Let's head up here to a red dwarf. And I think that's about it. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Alright, any counterattacks? Wow, all of a sudden this sphere of influence got very big. They must have built a satellite. They must have. So 
let's resolve our movement. That'll put him over there. And our... Oh, wow, they haven't even colonized this system yet. Okay, so I take our scout. They did destroy the um, pirates that we were looking at earlier, though. So let's take our scout. And Oh, actually, that's it. That's the galaxy, folks. That's it. I'm looking around. Yeah, that's it. Awesome. So what I want to do is take my scout and kind of put him there just so he keeps an eye on things from the purple front. Actually, I want to... Actually, yeah, I want to keep eye, my eyes on the purple. And purple is building up their forces. Yes, yes, they are. We might need to do a little bit of boosting of our forces. And you can see Ida has a sphere of influence now. It is now a colony, but we are still assimilating it. And Ibony. Okay, so everything's still going good here. Looks good. Gaikon and Yersh finished some stuff. So let's take a look at that. Yes, they... Oh, well, we, we got um, infinite supermarkets, but they're still unhappy because of that game event. Um, yeah. That's all right, though. Let's just go ahead. And are they... They don't have a ton of industry. Not a ton, ton, but... And Gaikon... Gaikon might be a good place where we're going to build ships eventually, so I'll go ahead and go for hardened framing there. And Yersh, yes, we'll need some exploitations. Uh, they are Tundra, which I think is good for, yep, for this one. So for geo-industrial plants, and this is also Tundra, so I'll queue that up. Okay, that looks good. Next turn, we're going to do a research. Dismiss that. So we'll end the turn. Anything going on? I don't really like that right when your turn starts, then the uh, enemy ships or the other faction ships start moving around. I'd much prefer it to be like civilization where, you know, things move as the people are moving. Um, but, you know, that's, I'm not sure if that's just kind of how these space games, these space forex games go. So now we have optimized logistics, which gives us that nice colonial rights improvement, which will increase approval again. So that'll be good to counter that event that we saw. Now, are there any other pink improvements that might be? Okay, there's one over here. That's really good. Oh, and there's one over here as well. Yeah, I'm just thinking our approval is just terrible and our tax rate as low as it is so I want to help that along as much as I can so what is the least path of resistance to reserves through here oh we have this one so we could just go right here well let's check these ones out okay system improvement for food uh, system improvement for bonuses oh we do require or or a chow six or a chow six and this one gives us more let's see or chow six is or chow six ten turns away let's just go for this one which will alien standards and systems diplomatic options so we can do a corporate uh, cooperation agreement a vite to alliance and create alliance um, I don't think we're gonna be going that route at this point um, because we're going for a military victory it looks like we're just gonna kind of wipe the table but we'll see I mean the other factions have had time to kind of build up their forces so We'll have to see how much we can counter that and how quickly, especially with that approval event. Uh, we'll have to see how fast we can build ships. And we do have a good dust to supply, but this is good for improving our approval, so we'll go ahead and do that. Dismiss that. An empty moon on uh, way. And let's resolve our movement. I think we were heading over here. Yep, that's good. So Takim is good because they're colonizing. And way just did the moon so it needs something else to do and yes we'll go for colonial rights to increase the approval all right end turn nothing much happening resolve get our scout moving again he's gonna end up right here and that'll be good for him to scope out the purple fleets they really are, yeah, purple 
I'm standing very, very tough. You might want to... Oh, it's just such a pain because of this approval thing. Alright, anyway, Yersh is doing some exploitations on his newly colonized things. Ibani is colonized. And we need an exploitation on Baron, which I believe is science. Yes, it's good for science, so let's do that. And uh, we're still invading over here. Ida is, we have 56% ownership. And yeah, so it looks good, let's sign a turn. Resolve movement. That'll put our scout right where we want it to be. Keep an eye on all these fleets. That is very intimidating, I have to say. But but it should only take a couple rounds of us building up. Our if we focus purely on military, we should be able to counter that fairly easily. And I just wish I mean we don't know exactly what those are. You know, we know with the military power, but we don't know whether they're missiles or beams or anything like that so okay so we have a bunch of constructions that we have to take care of let's go to Ida we have a couple colonizable we are missing requirements it says we're missing requirements, missing requirements. colonize Baron we have been able to colonize Baron before it's weird I don't know why it's doing that I mean, at first I thought it was because we're assimilating it, but we were able to colonize on that other on that other place. Um, so let's do infinite supermarkets and colonial rights. It's going to take a while, but that's all we can really do right now. That's all right. Gaikon finished some stuff. We can colonize this planet now. Let's go ahead and do that. It only takes two turns. Yersh needs something to do. And yes, let's go for infinite supermarkets and colonial rights. That's about it. End the turn. Oops, I forgot about stream. Okay. Now we are being attacked. Again. So we're going to go manual and we're going to do that thing we did last time. Um. In fact, actually, I think I will do a, what I will do is, let's go for tactics, and then I'll do an offensive retreat. That way we will, we'll, we will guaranteed take out some of their ships from our missile pods, and then we'll offensively retreat. That's good. hitting us fairly solidly, but we're about to hit them fairly solidly as well. Yes, taking out two of their ships. That's great. And now we're warping out. That's a pretty good victory, I'd say. We were outmatched. We might have been able to, but you know, as we get closer, those kinetic mods just scare me. Okay, so we got a new deal. So the... <laughs> okay. Micr, wait. Oh, they're going to give us Micr, huh? Hmm. So they want a ceasefire. Now ceasefire. Yeah, that'll put us in Cold War, however. Um, but it might be worth it because we don't want purple or orange to get um, any better than they already are. So it might be worth it to just take the ceasefire, go deal with them for 20 turns, and then come back and you know, take them. So I'm going to accept. Yes, so now we get Micr. And do we automatically assim assimilate it? I believe we do. No, we don't. Okay. That's unfortunate. But let's see. Strong magnetic field. Bad. 
So the approval is fairly low. Nine turns. Twelve turns. Let's colonize this lava planet. Let's just do a lot of colonizing first. And that does take three. Yeah, let's just do that. That's fine. And okay. Now, we won't be able to go up here, I believe, because we're... No, we are in Cold War, right? Because we're in Cold War, so we can pass through. Um, but actually, I want to do a right click, or a control click. So we, we, we're going to turn off that, and we're going to control click to go directly there. And control click to go there. It looks like it might take a lot more movement points possibly let's go directly there possibly I'm not entirely sure here was our dreadnought and let's go up here and I already know that oh maybe be because we got yeah, I think that's a little bit of a bug the developers need to look at when we when we already have an abundance and we get another planet that has that resource, it'll alert us again. Yeah. Okay. So Treem needs something to do. We forgot to do that last time. And yeah, we have already done the moon stuff. And let's see. How is our dust? Plus one thirty eight. Jeez. Holy hell. Let's scale that back a little bit. Does that really help them? Mm. Helps a little bit. Yeah, let's scale it back. Oh, that's minus 45. Let's not do that. All right, at this point, let's just keep it where it was. Oh, uh, it's actually going down to 77. We have a lot, a lot of dust. And I think we're coming up on the end of the video. Let's all kind of get to a place, a state where we can finish up here. And let's go for another trade route for now. Actually, where are we? Treem. Okay, we don't have a lot of industry here, so we can't really build ships very fast. Uh, but Treem is, yeah, let's just go for another trade route and everything looks good there everything looks good there our ships are moving our scouts there we're gonna have to deal with these guys eventually i think hmm it might be worth it uh, we might just yeah we're probably gonna just go for the purple pilgrims right away because if we go for the orange ones we're gonna have to deal with the purple ones eventually um and we can kind of just pile all of our, well, let's actually, where is the next? Um, we want more of those command points. Where's the next one? Where's the next one? 50 turns up here. Yeah, 50 turns is a lot. So we have, because I was thinking, because we can only attack one fleet with one fleet, and they have the same seven as us. So what we want to do, yeah, so well, let's, let's end the turn, and actually, I think one more turn, and then we'll end the video for this part. All of a sudden, cancer just increased its, wow. And now we're neutral with them. Okay, it's fine. We did just get slapped by their area of influence, though. <laughs> That's really annoying. So let's resolve some of our movement. I think uh, moving freely might take more movement points. <laughs> so that might be uh, something we don't want to do in the future. Okay, so Gaikon and Takim. So we'll take a look at that. Gaikon. We want an exploitation there. I think desert. Desert, desert, desert. Yeah, right there. Yep, so we'll go for more dust. And Takim. Where was Takim? over here yes so we have two barren planets and those are good for science so we'll go ahead and 
few of those up. And, ah, excellent. We have a resource monopoly on this luxury resource, Void Stone. So we get plus 20% healing on Empire, which is great. All right, uh, I think that's it for this turn. And I think that's, I'm going to bring this part to an end. In the next video, we're going to be uh, strategizing about how to go up about uh, eliminating our purple friends up here. Uh, we'll be looking at our fleets and what we need and what improvements we need to make in order to make sure that we can absolutely take them out. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you tune in next time.